Hey Heights Church, Becky Sweeney here, and this week we're talking about the birth of Jesus through the perspective of some key characters. And today I'm sharing with you about Elizabeth, and this story is found in Luke chapter 1, if you want to join me there. There's a lot of verses and information to get through, but it's all good and inspiring. So let's get started, and we start with this couple, Elizabeth, who happens to be the cousin of Mary, the mother of Jesus, and then her husband, Zechariah. And so he is a priest in the temple of the Lord. And so one day he's on duty in the temple and the angel Gabriel appears to him and announces that he and Elizabeth, although she is barren and they're well advanced in years, will give birth to a son and his name is going to be John. And here's some things that Gabriel says about their son. And first of all, he says, God has heard your prayer. Highlight that, my friend. God has heard your prayer. You're going to have a son. He will be a joy and a delight to you. Many will rejoice because of his birth. He will be great in the sight of the Lord. He will be filled with the spirit from birth. Many of the people of Israel will be brought back to the Lord on account of him. And he is coming to make way, to make a path, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. That means Jesus. Zachariah has some doubts here and he wonders how this will happen as Elizabeth is old. And as a result of those doubts, he is mute. So he lost his ability or loses his ability to speak. But the angel tells him, it's going to happen anyway, in spite of your doubt. And so Elizabeth becomes pregnant. She becomes pregnant with John. And she says, the Lord has done this for me. The Lord has taken away my disgrace. And then we pause in scripture because the angel now appears to Mary, the mother of Jesus. And Gabriel announces that Mary will become pregnant with Jesus. And so we fast forward a little bit here. Mary, with this news, now comes to visit her cousin Elizabeth. So Mary is pregnant with Jesus. Elizabeth is pregnant with John. And as soon as Mary greets Elizabeth, John, inside of Elizabeth's womb, leaps and Elizabeth is filled with the Holy Spirit. And she declares with a loud voice, blessed are you among women. Why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Blessed is she who believes what the Lord said will be accomplished. Highlight that, my friends. And then this beautiful song called The Magnificent unfolds. It's Mary's song. Go back and read it. But we fast forward a little bit to the birth of John the Baptist. Elizabeth gives birth to John the Baptist. And um, the neighbors and relatives hear of this. And they say, the Lord has shown great mercy. And the neighbors and relatives share in Elizabeth and Zachariah's joy. Now they take little baby, they don't have his name yet because they're going to name him when he's circumcised. So on the eighth, eighth day, they go to the temple. They go to name him and everybody says, he'll be called Zachariah after his dad. And Elizabeth says, no, his name is to be John. And they say, well, you don't have any relatives named John. And at that moment, Zachariah finds something to write on. Oh, he writes and he says, his name is John. And when he says that, his mouth is opened from being mute. And he begins speaking and praising God. Again, the neighbors are filled with awe and wonder. What is this child going to be? They said, the Lord's hand is with him. This is so powerful to me. And then Zechariah is filled with the Holy Spirit and he begins to prophesy and he prophesies about the coming of Jesus. And then he prophesies about his son. And this is what he says about his son. He says, and you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go on before the Lord and prepare a way for him to give his people knowledge 
of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins. Praise God because of the tender mercy of our God by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet to the path of peace. And it says, and the child grew and became strong in spirit. And he lived in the desert until he appeared publicly to Israel. Oh, my friends, what a story. A couple takeaways here. First of all, Zachariah and Elizabeth were found blameless in the sight of God. And that doesn't mean, and actually it does mean that they almost kept the law perfectly, but other people had too. What's different about them is that God looked at their heart. They were found blameless in God's sight. They weren't just rule followers. They were willing to pay, play a role in God's sovereign plan. And he rewarded them for their faithfulness and belief. And God used difficult, disappointing circumstances to fulfill his sovereign purpose. My friends, I want you to know God is doing that even now. Right, Jesus isn't coming as a baby. That's already happened. But Jesus is no longer in a manger. He's a soon and coming king. And my friends, God is working out his sovereign plan and sovereign will. He will use circumstances and he'll use people, me and you, to fulfill that. What does he want to do? He wants to bring people to himself. I want to be a part of it. I know you do too. Be inspired and encouraged today. In Jesus' name, the Lord be with you, my friends. It's good to be found in God's favor. Amen. Yes and amen. I love you, church. Take care. Bye-bye.